Welcome, Welcome to, to the Black, Black Phillip Show. Black I am not Black, Black Phillip. That is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you something, ladies. If you meet a guy in the street and he says to you, "I don't have a girlfriend," you gotta understand he has at least seven. You understand what I'm saying? He has at least seven women, and the reason he, the reason that is because we play a numbers game. Men don't. We can't sit at a club and wait for you, you know, Mrs. Wright, to just walk up and say, hey, how you doing? Or walk down the street and we in our, in our nicest suit and smelling the nice, smelling real good, smelling our best, and we walking up the street and some girl goes, hey, ooh, look at you. You look, <laughs> hey, listen, baby. Oh, and you go, well, it, I, I'm Wait, going I to work. Know. I, I, you know what I'm saying? We have to actively be out there to you know, you know to feed our sexuality you understand what i'm saying we don't we're not looking for mrs right as they say we're looking for mrs right now. right now <laughs> as they say mrs right now so we have to actively so if you think that a guy meets you in the street and you don't know who he is right and you're attracted to him you think that you're the only woman that's attracted to him he he actively actively embraces any woman who's attracted to him. You understand what I'm saying? So if a woman goes, if a woman comes in and goes, hey, how are you? Or he goes, how are you to a woman? And she goes, hey, and now, you know, you're talking. He gets the number. He, trust me, he got, he got at least 20 that day. And why I say seven is because it boils down to a team. You pick like UFC and shit. You pick, you pick, the, you pick it's like, it's like karate class. It's training. It really is. My girl now, you know, I never admitted to her. But she's always like, we just now started kind of admitting. I started kind of admitting to her that I had a lot of girls uh, at the time that were all candidates. It was like karate class, okay? So when you meet a chick in karate class, it's easy to have seven women when they're all at the same level in your karate class. You meet right. them new, and then you all get them their white belts, and they and they don't know anything. And you tell them all kind of bullshit, all kind of lies, all kind of bullshit. You know, you, 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 you're dragging them along, you're telling them this, you're telling them that, and they listening. You know, you say, hey, baby, you know, let me tell you something. I used to tell my girl, stay in the Matrix. Wait, basically, surface, you can only say that happiness. to a chick. You can only say it's surface happiness. Right. You can don't dig underneath because you're going to find something. You're going to find something if you dig. Stay surface happy. If... If you dig, you're going to find something. So what happens is you line them up and you say, you know, you tell them, like the Matrix, okay? The Matrix, I go, listen, when you eat the, the, the blue pill or the red pill, whichever one makes you pop out and understand that the world's fucked up, don't eat that pill. Stay in this wonderful world of two days a week that we in. Or stay in this wonderful yeah, world of, the glitches. of an hour, Make come sure by for an hour, the and then get out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you got to get them that. So you tell everybody these particular little bullshits. You, you have your space. You do this, that. So what happens is women's nature, okay, is to challenge you. And for a guy, if he has seven women in his karate class, you understand what I'm saying? If he has seven women in his karate class, eventually they're all going to want to bump, get bumped up to the next belt. You understand? Well, a lot of them get knocked off right. Some of them don't. Some even, of them don't know how to. They right. don't even. You they start don't make doing it past first right. Belt. You start. You start getting them into into the elephant walk or the and, duck walk, and whatever then they I'm do. Push ups, and mm-hmm. she's just like, I ain't right. putting. As soon as she hears the first bit, she's like, she might be out of there. You understand? Oh. But there's some that want to say, okay, I'm gonna stick it through, just because I see something in this guy. So let's say you got eight girls, one drops off, you got seven, and that starts the karate class, and yeah. they like sensei, they down with you, right? So you you they following you and you give them all that bullshit, then eventually nature tells them when it's time to try to bump their belt up, okay? When they go, okay, they get in the stance, they go hi ya, just to see if they're better than you, just to see if all your teachings are bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So they they get in the stance, and all a woman wants you to do, and this is referring to ended up being your last lady, which is I'm I'm at now, where it's, it's like you. It, they keep challenging you, and the thing that keeps them with you is every time they challenge you, you have to be able to take their karate kick and gotcha. flip, not only block it, but block it and make her fall and smash her head and make her go, holy shit, 
I'm sorry, master. He's you are good. <laughs> and then she is down for you to fucking be the master for the next to the next, next session. The next six months. Now as these women are living up, <laughs> they're falling off. Maybe they can't afford the class. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, you can't know they they move. They can't make it to the fucking school. <laughs> you know, they they decided to join the uh, the other motherfucker from Karate Kid. That nigga, because because I'm telling them wax on wax off, and this Cobra nigga's like, Con. <laughs> they, go they want to join Con. Cobra Con because <laughs> I'm I'm doing the slow wax on wax off shit. Like, all right, bitch, listen, just. Just stare at that soda can for 10 hours. But master, stare at the soda can. So one of them like, fuck this nigga. I ain't staring at no motherfucking soda can. So they leave. I want to go kick a motherfucker. So I got four left staring at soda cans. Then you get up the next level. Now, you got to understand, these chicks is at brown belt status. The four that's left is at brown belt status. It's getting difficult. Till one day, and my girl asked me, why, are, and this is for every chick, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you are the guy's girlfriend. If you have a handsome, smart winner, you were the product of hanging in there. You weren't the product of I met you and I it was magic. It was magic. I oh. oh God. I I found Mrs. Wright. I found the wonderful oh, oh none of that. He wit he waited and you waited and you hung in there till he got rid of the other four. Okay? So my girl finally goes, How did I how did you it's cause you you hung around. She was hurt because she wanted it to be I'm so special, right. but ladies, you got to understand, you'll never be special right away for a guy. You're not special right away. We're special right away. Touch on that, like, when you think <clears throat> about uh, why is that not the case? It's not the case because of the system that they set up, put us under in the first place. Well, it's because it has to be a it's cause we're auditioning. We're auditioning for... We're auditioning for the vagina. Right. We're auditioning for something that innately we're better than. And as I'm auditioning for something that I really feel like I, I should get at the same ease in which a girl can get my dick, that every time I'm showing her all the good stuff, basically what we're doing is showing, like, <clears throat> okay, I just bought a crib, right? All got the got all type of shit in it, you Last know, bunch of hot. TVs and TVs. shit, and fucking uh, uh, crown molding, all that goofy <laughs> shit. <clears throat> and and the thing is, I told my girl, I said, sweetie, you don't understand how hard it is. Like I was telling her, uh, Dante, uh, I was like, Dante's like, you get ready, girl, yet? <laughs> and and it ain't cause I go, nah, I'm still. It. But this is my reaction. She goes, you get ready, girl, yet? I go. Nah, nah, man. Oh, wow. And the reason is, you the, he knows you what the nah is, and he I know what the nah is. It's nah, man. I ain't got no other bitch. Fucking making him feel magical in this goddamn house that I didn't make good for me. I made good for bitches, fictitious, fictitious bitches that ain't there yet. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? For chicks that don't exist. Do you know what would be going on in your house now? That's what I'm saying. So my boys are like, they'll uh, come in. My friends will come in. They not. They don't go. Yo, your house is dope. For you, they go. Damn. <laughs> All the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pussy house. But I'm goofy because I gave my girl a key, and my girl here's the problem. Why? But this she's a trooper. Thank God she's a trooper because I have to leave her. She, she she likes girls, thank God. So we we will do a little this and that. Yeah. But the thing is, I tell her, if she wasn't a trooper, she would have to leave, dude, because I could not. I, look, I told her, you, I, she, and she goes, why? What? She got mad. I tell her, yeah, my friends come in here. You got to understand, sweetie, uh, that that when I walk in my bed, I personally, I can sleep on an air mattress, you know. Personally, I don't need to have a big fish right. tank. I don't. I eat fish, but I want to have stuff in there to go. Whoa! I got. I hang artwork on my garage, so that. <laughs> when you I put a rug in. down. I put a rug down in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> so a bitch go in my garage. She go. Ooh. 
got a what a nice wall. garage! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You think I want to spend thousands of dollars to put the from goofy ass gay crown molding? It's to, it's to. But my girl, here's the thing. I don't sneak bitches in. There's no other chick except for one chick we had a threesome with that's ever been in the house. You know why? Because Goofy me gave my girl the key. Okay? But I can't. <clears throat> she is a. My girl, going she back to what I was talking about, belt. she is a fourth degree black belt in me. So I can't do the dumb shit. I can't just dismiss her with shit. Because for real, for real, when she kicks at me now. It you takes better, two or three be, blocks. You better be ready. As I fight the bitch, I'm sweating because she knows. <laughs> she knows you. <laughs> she knows. knows all your she tricks. knows shit, and it's harder for me to catch her now that she's a fourth degree black belt, dude. She can go teach other chicks. That's you it. understand? She can. She's a teacher now, but she constantly trying to fight me. So the thing is. She comes to the crib, and I still got certain kind of control over her where it's like, okay, I tell her, she will ring the bell. But it, it's almost like this pseudo ringing the bell to be, if anybody's in there, I'm on the way in. But basically, she just unlocks the door. So it's like right now, I don't, I can't tell her. See, <clears throat> another thing, uh, fellas, truth. See, people, honesty doesn't exist in a relationship. It, it doesn't exist. No. It's routine exists you understand once you establish the a routine that is their attachment that's their that's what honesty is is a routine routine is okay when i he allows me to come over by the house anytime i want because i have a key now if i tell him if i tell my girl yo yo don't come over here tonight you know what i mean don't come by here tonight she gonna be like, why? Why? I can't say no shit because I have a downstairs and upstairs. So I can't say no shit like I just want to be by myself. Cause there's places in my house where I can be by myself without her. I got a whole downstairs that she's really not allowed to come fuck with. I got two chairs in there. It's just for me and like when my boy come over, we could talk some shit with a big goofy TV and the whole thing. She no, if she goes upstairs, I really could be alone. So if I say some shit like I just want to be in my own space, and the, she gonna know it's some bullshit going on. It, it's gonna be some bullshit going on. If she goes for it, she goes for it. But if I say some goofy shit like I want to be in my own space, this is what I'm saying about lying. It, it, me and this motherfucker, I mean y'all, y'all will learn about a lot that. about us, man. Because <clears throat> like if people don't know the reason Dante's up here because we powwow about a lot of shit, dude. Like we go back and forth. Dante has a idea that you should lie. I had this idea that you should be completely honest because it's like, look, you, so you got girlfriends? <laughs> no, but I got a bunch of bitches. You know, I do. But anytime I meet a girl, I tell her I got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. So the thing is, I don't, I can't, I don't know how to lie. So if my, if I say some goofy shit like I'm not, I'm not, uh, <clears throat> I just wanna be in my own world, or so, what other lie? Um, I, uh, I tell you, here's how hardcore my girl is in terms of 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 a, of a belt, of her belt system. My car got fucked up the other day. I told her, look, I gotta drop my car off at the garage. Um, I ain't gonna have it for a couple of days. They said I, I need a new uh, something on the wheel and shit. So she goes, okay. All right. So next call she made, I answer the phone. I'm at the mall. She's like, uh, wh- wh- hey, what's up? I'm I'm sitting here worried about you, thinking you need a ride to pick you up at the garage. <laughs> Where you at? I'm at the mall. Well. You know that ten seconds of silence. You? Well, how'd you? I thought your car. Well, 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 what the fuck you? How are you? At the mall. What? <laughs> <laughs> now let's say, let's say I was with a bitch. I'm caught. I'm caught because first of all, I can't not answer the phone. That's rule number one. Yeah. Once you establish, you answer the phone. Then you know, you even if you get on the phone and go, look, bitch, I don't want to talk to you. Lie. You know what I'm saying? But this is why I say you have to. You have when you lie, you gotta lie three years ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, but who can keep track of that shit? I can. Uh, <laughs> you got to think about where you sh- where you want to be at three to five years. If you don't want to pick up the phone five years from now, you got to not pick up the phone now. Yeah, that's true. But that's not lying, though. Look, let me tell you something. Let's try it a little be- bit. Before I got married, right, I used to wear a ring on my wedding finger. Right. 
I used to wear a ring on my wedding finger, and then when I got married, I always so I didn't have a tan line. But this was planned years. Wait a minute, you always? I always wore a ring on my wedding finger. So yeah. so once I I got married, I had a wedding ring. Right. When I switched the wedding ring back to the ring I was wearing before, it, everything was status quo. Wait a minute, you're losing me. Do you get that? What are you saying? I, I get it. I just don't know how you got away with it. Wait, okay, you always wore a ring on your wedding finger. Right. I always wore Your ring. whole life. My <laughs> Okay. Well, for <laughs> pretty much. At least for 10 years. <laughs> okay. So when I got married and I put a wedding ring on, right, you know, like women look at the tan line. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> The hell, wedding ring tan line? Oh, yes. Well, you light skinned nigga anyway. <laughs> well, then, if you a, really have this one. A, this is a light skinned and a white you, guy's story here. A light skinned nigga with a tan line on it. Your... Was, it'd be worse for you. 